Shalom sisters and brothers, how are you doing? This is a new week during Chola Moed of Sukkot. We're happy to have this ability to set our minds to noble things and ideas that are waking up in that amazing time of holy days. It's amazing for me to think about the depth of the process of a person in his life when he's trying to come closer and closer to the truth. I said it once in one of my classes that the word truth in the holy language of Hebrew is written Aleph, Mem, and then the letter Tav, Tav. And Aleph is the first letter in the alphabet, and Mem is the middle one, and Tav, Tav is the last one. So it's showing to us that the truth is coming in a certain order. It starts in the beginning, there is a heart to it, there is a center to it, and there is an end to it. And the end, now it's, it's deep. There are many things that you can say about the truth. I'll start with the first one that I wanted to, to say before. And that when you start walking in that path of truth, you start with an Aleph, you start with the first step. Oh, I realize there is a creator, or, oh, I realize that I should not behave in a bad way, or like any one of those beginnings of a process of spiritual awakeness that we're going through starts with an Aleph. You had your Aleph, you had your beginning, I had mine. Everyone is starting somewhere and it takes you further and on into a path that is unknown. You don't know where it's going to finish. You might spend a few years on Aleph and then another couple of years on Bet and then another three, four, five, seven years on the letter Gimel and you climb from one stage to the next and that's the process of connecting yourself to the truth and by that to the God of truth that you go somewhere and you don't know how long it will take but for sure if you entered properly in the beginning with a desire for the truth that it will take you in a certain path that will um, will take time but will for sure bring you to the result of that tav, that it's the completion of truth. So it's a process, it's a path. Now, I wanted to say another thing about the word truth that just came to me when I started to speak about it, that every one of the letters, Aleph and Mem and Taf, that together building the word truth represents something. So the letter Aleph is known to be a symbol of God himself, of the Creator himself. Like that it's written, the, the word, the letter Aleph is representing the word Adon. Adon is like the name of God, that we're calling him in the holy language of Hebrew, Adonai. And when you're teaching, you're allowed to say the name of God, you're allowed to. And when you learn as well, if you open a book and the name of the Creator is written over there, so again, you're allowed to read the name of Hashem, not Yud Ke Vav Ke, we're not saying Yud Ke Vav Ke, just the letters of the word Adonai. This is a name that you're allowed to mention while praying, while learning or teaching, and, um, and while praying an individual prayer as well. When you call the Creator in His name, you're allowed to do that halachically. There are people that will try to not to do that, but I once read an article that um, explained what Rav Ovadia Yosef said about it, and he said that when the name of Hashem is written in a Gemara, so if you're not going to say the real name of Hashem, Aleph Dalet Nun Yud, Adonai, so you just missed it. You lost an opportunity to connect yourself to the name of God, to the name of the Creator. And it's a blessing to ne to call him in his name. So I'm trying not, um, of course, we're 
are not mentioning it for no reason, but when you do have the opportunity, opportunity while praying or while learning, so to mention the name of Hashem, of the Creator, is a blessing. So the letter Aleph that represents the name of God is the first, that's the introduction, that's the beginning, that's how you start your path of coming closer to the truth. You see there is God above. You start with the letter Aleph, oh, Aleph, Alufo Shel Olam. And then the letter Mem, Mem has two um, ways that it's being written. There is a regular Mem that will be written in the beginning of a word or in the middle of a word. That's the regular letter Mem. And you have a closed mem, mem segura, a final mem, a mem sofit, mem that comes in the end of the word, and it looks like a square. And also when you write the letter mem itself, not when you write the letter mem, just when you write the name of the letter mem, you write me, m. mem is mem that is open, a regular mem, that is that mem that I said that is in the beginning or the middle of the word and the closed mem, the final mem, the mem that comes in the end of the word. So when you want to say mem, you are mentioning both of the mems that there are in the holy language of the Hebrews. So mem is representing the closed door and an open door. And there are why why is it representing two doors one open and one closed because when you write the letter mem that is a closed mem so it's a square and if you cut that square in a diagonal line so you have two letters that are like the letter dalit and dalit is the fourth letter in the alphabet and it is representing the word delet delet is a door in the holy language of Hebrew. So the letter Dalet represents Delet, and it's uh, and it has its shape. I don't have a. Maybe I'll try. I'll try. I'll do it. I'll write it down for you to see. I'll try. Why not? Why not to put a little effort for you guys? Okay. So can you see? So that's the letter. Dalet, I hope you can see it. And when you make another Dalet like that, so together they will look like the letter Mem. This is a final Mem, and that's the regular Mem. Okay, and you can write it like a Yud or whatever, but that's a regular Mem, and that's a, a Mem of the end. So when you cut it like that, so you have one Dalet and a second Dalet. And both of them together is um, building the letter mem and it's a closed mem so it's a closed door so the beginning of the path of coming closer to the truth you are enjoying an illumination the illumination of god himself starts with the letter aleph alufo shel olam the creator himself but then you get into a door and it's closing on you and suddenly you're in darkness you find yourself in a path that is endless, that you don't know where it's going to finish. You don't know if you're in Bet, in Gimel, in Dalet. You're in the middle of nowhere, trying to connect yourself to the truth, trying to understand the truth, trying to figure out the truth, trying to ask what the truth is, questioning the truth, doubting the truth, praying for the truth to be revealed to you. It's all in, uh, in, in, in darkness. But then when you continue and you're not backing off and you're not giving up, so then you reach the final letter Tav. And Tav is written like a mark. Tav is, is the, the meaning of the word Tav is like a mark. It's, it's a mark on, on the face of a person that he's righteous. And it's written in ancient Midrashim that I read that the righteous people they have a mark on their forehead that is written the letter Tav on their forehead. And when the 
mida of judgments when hard judgments are attacking so they're angels of darkness that are coming to punish or to or to or to um execute the judgments that um decrees that been decreed in in heaven's court when they're coming to execute to punish they look on the foreheads of the people and if they see the letter tav on their heads on their foreheads so then they know not to hurt them so that's the good result of those who walks in the path of truth the path of truth is the answer and a person should always try to attach himself to the truth with all his heart and to do the best that he can in all aspects of life in any possible way that you have and that you can in your life to attach yourself to the truth always to ask yourself am i being truthful am i being honest am i being lazy am i not and not just to blame yourself and and hate yourself and oh no you're a liar that's also not the truth to say on yourself that you're a liar is for sure not the truth the even if you find yourself that you're lying you need to find the real truth of heaven the real will of the creator that is always to build and to fix and to reveal mercy and endless love and to see how to take responsibility on your mistakes and how to build yourself and how to come and climb and how to climb and how to um and how to reach high levels in your avodat hashem in your path of truth i am uh, if you see me checking and looking and i suddenly stop my my uh, my my words is because that facebook is uh, sending me messages that i don't uh, don't really understand what they want from me so facebook we're not working for you like i always say we're not working for no one also not for facebook so don't message me please when i am live it's not uh, it's not uh, appropriate when the creator wanted to create the world so he consult with all the angels and with all the souls that were there and he asked them if to create the world or not and if to create the human beings the adam alishan the first man and his wife and the mida of truth came and said please the creator don't create the man because he will always lie he will not be a truthful person so don't create him because you're the god of truth so the creator took the mida of truth and threw it down to the ground and when the angels came to the creator and asked him your seal is the seal of truth you're the god of truth why when the mida of truth told you that people will lie and that's the truth that they will lie you know yourself right guys like we're liars it's a problem so when the mida of truth said people will lie she said the truth why did you took the truth but the shlechem et alza and threw it down to the ground to the earth so hashem said when people will walk on earth they will walk in the path of truth now after i threw the truth down to the ground when people will walk on earth they will desire the path of truth and then emet me'eretz titzmach the truth will rise from the ground it will grow it will bloom from the ground by the good actions and deeds of people of you and me of ours of holy people that are desiring the truth with all their hearts and trying to do another good thing in their lives and to spend their life in purity and in holiness and to achieve good things and never to back off from it truth is to love is to be nice is to be kind to each other is always to take responsibility on your actions and to be a strong person like people in the world saying to be a man to be strong and to admit the truth to face it and not to be scared and not to be arrogant to think that you're exempt from doing tshuva 
always to do tshuva and always to do tshuva on the old tshuva on the first tshuva that you did and to be stronger and stronger as you're coming closer and closer to the truth and even if it feels sometimes that it's darker that it's more risky that it's more dangerous don't back off from that amazing process that you started with to come closer to the truth and to the creator to find your true self and to love and to share that love with the world thank you so much for your power and energy that you're investing and putting into our amazing project to all of our blessed donors may the creator support you as well and shine upon you all to all of our friends that are helping and sharing and posting the links and between their friends and on facebook and youtube and all the social media outlets bless you you don't know how great is your reward and how lucky you are to have a hand and a heart in this amazing fantastic project of emuna that is shining and illuminating the world with the light of truth may the creator answer to all your prayers and all your dreams will come true in no time amen the world is not existing because Olam Milshon Ne'elem, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma De Shikra, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion.